Let me show you how easy it is to connect a Banner ABR barcode reader to a Rockwell Automation PLC over Ethernet IP. We'll start here in Barcode Manager. I will select an ABR3000 and I will click Open Device Configuration. We are starting from scratch at default settings, so I'm going to click OK on default. Then I will go to the data formatting page. And notice that I'm in user installer expert view already. So that means the industrial protocol button is visible. So I add Ethernet IP to this configuration. Then I can select my two data events, good read and no read, and make sure they go to this channel, the Ethernet IP channel that I just created, and I'm done. Ethernet IP is added and will be active when it goes to run mode, and I will save my settings. Maybe I will call it EIP, click OK. So this is the message that sends the barcode data on a good read, and this sends a few error characters on a no read. So we have two different messages to know the result of our inspection or attempt at reading. Notice that right now it says status halt on top. That means it is not in run mode, and I have to change that because it won't talk to PLCs until it gets into run mode. One way to do that is switch to monitor mode with this button here. Now to switch to monitor mode, I can view images and I can also view data here. Notice that if I block the barcode so it does not read, the barcode data goes away. So this console at the bottom is showing me a view of the live data that we'll be sending to the PLC once the connection is established. Okay, with that running, let's go to the PLC software. Here's my empty Compact Logix program with nothing in it in Studio 5000 Logix Designer. And first thing I would do if I've never installed an ABR before is install the EDS file. That makes things a little easier. Save some steps. I will register an EDS file. Browse to the file that I already downloaded from BannerEngineering.com. Click Next a few times to install that EDS file. That will put it into my Ethernet module catalog on this copy of PLC software. Then to add it to this project, I click on Ethernet, and then I right-click and click New Module. I will select the banner ABR, which is now in the catalog because I installed the EDS file. Click Create. I'll give it a device name for the project and a description. And I will enter the IP address of the ABR reader. Click OK and it will be added. So if I download to the PLC right now, I should have a valid connection. Let's check and make sure that works. If it doesn't work, I may need to reboot my ABR for the connection to get established the first time. We will see. We are online, and this ABR is not having a good connection yet. We see a yellow triangle here. So we will go ahead, in this case, and cycle power on the ABR. It will load the same settings on power up because I saved the settings. And as it powers up, we should see a good connection get established. And then I'll look in the controller tags window and we'll see data from the ABR, but it won't be updated. And the reason is the ABR by default will look for a handshaking piece of data to come from the PLC where the PLC sends a sequence number back to the ABR to tell it that it read the last data and is ready for the next data. 
This PLC does not have the logic put in yet to do that handshaking, and so we will only get one set of data and it won't update right now. But at least we'll know we'll have a good connection. Notice we now have a connection. The yellow triangle disappeared. I'll go to controller tag and click monitor tags. Look under data. I will see data is there. This is the barcode data right here. But notice that it's not updating, nothing's changing because it's missing the handshake that I was just talking about. So we'll use step two. We'll use the AOI, which we can also download from bannerengineering.com. I already did. So I will go to add on instructions and import the add on instruction file, this .l -type x file. Click OK. And then to put that add-on instruction into my project, I want to go to my ladder logic and drag this onto a run of logic. And now I should be ready to add tag names. I must name the AOI. And then create a tag of the required type. We need to point it to the data from the ABR like this. Point it to the output data to the ABR. And then I want to create a new set of tags where the output data from the ABR will show up. Hit create. And we're done. Now we download. PLC back in run mode. Now let's look at the data we will find in the new ABR tags piece of data that we just created. Now we see the sequence number is incrementing with every inspection, every image from the ABR. And we have a string tag with all of the result data from the reader. If it gets a no read, you can see it sends a different message with error characters and no barcode data. And then let it read again, and there is the barcode data. All right, we have our connection and have our data successfully into our Alan Bradley PLC. Thanks for watching.